Hey, how's it going, YouTubers? This is Falcon CX, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, add all the graphics to your Ubuntu um, system. You're going to be able to do this. I like the sphere better than the cube. I'm going to show you how to do all of them the sphere, the cylinder, and the cube. And I'm also going to show you how to uh, do the, spe the special effects when you open windows. For example this, as you can see it does different effects every time I open it, and then when I close it, uh, they go on fire, so that's pretty neat. And then there's also more effects for when you minimize the window, it does a genie effect, and when I drag a window, it's transparent, um, and then I also have this other feature called exposition, which I'll show you right now what it does that's exp exposition so I can see all my windows all my desktops at a at one time so the first thing you want to do is uh, go here onto system and select administration go down to synaptic package manager click there um, and you're gonna put your password And you want to do a search for Compass because that's going to be the manager that's going to allow you to configure uh, your graphics the way you want them to be. So check mark this box right here, Compass Config Settings Manager, and then click on Apply so that it installs everything you need. Once it's done installing, you're going to go back onto System, Preferences, and then select Compass Config Settings Manager. And right here is where we're going to change all our settings to get the, uh, the special graphics. So first we're going to be working on the cube. So. To activate the cube, we have to select a few things. Um, go down to desktop, right here, and select desktop cube. Also select rotate cube, and go down to effects and select 3D windows. And select cube reflection and deformation if you want to do the sphere otherwise you don't have to check that one that's uh, so you can do the sphere or the cylinder if you uncheck it it's gonna leave the cube see if I uncheck it from my system I have the cube now and if I check it again it brings me back to my cylinder Okay, uh, now some other effects that you want to make sure you have checked on are Expo. What Expo does is uh, when you press um, Super and E, it does this. The Super key is your Start key. So if you press Start and E as an Expo, it's going to allow you to see all your desktop windows. And another thing you want to check is a viewpoint switcher. This one is going to allow you to switch between windows using the scroll wheel on your mouse. So when you scroll, that's what happens. Um, also make sure you select wobbly windows, have that check mark. Trail focus also, reflection and windows decoration. Those are pretty neat effects that you want to add to make it nicer. Select also animations and animation add-ons. The cube gears, uh, that's up to you. What it does, it adds gears inside the cube. If I check mark it, this is what happens. There's gears inside the cube. By the way, to activate, to do what I'm doing right now, uh, spinning the cube around, 
or the sphere you have to press control and ALT and uh, then press your mouse key to spin around so all of that together control ALT and your mouse uh, left click button these are special effects which are not useful at all but they look pretty nice so if you want those check mark them uh, if you double click on them it'll tell you how to activate them so for example the water effect it's control and super which we know is control and start and it'll do that now let's go back to the main menu and go up to general options we're gonna now work on our cube double click on general options um, go to display settings and make sure lighting is unchecked otherwise it's gonna make your cube look uh, not a sprite so uncheck that and then go to desktop size right here and make sure it's 4 this the horizontal virtual size is 4 otherwise you won't get a perfect cube you'll just get a, a planar uh, simple thing so let's go back to the main menu and go into desktop cube double click on it and go up to transparent cube this is how we're gonna make the cube transparent so make sure you go at least up to 75 the lower you go the more transparent it becomes I have it at 60 um, the opacity we're not rotating this will make your background transparent the one I'm looking at right now so if I go down to 50 see now it's uh, transparent I don't really like to see it like that so I leave it solid like this okay now let's go back into the step cube and uh, select appearance uh, right here on sky dome if you click that you get the the choice of selecting a sky dome image a sky dome image is the image that you see around when you when you spin the cube all that red stuff that's my background image for the sky dome so if you want to change that you can click on the folder and go into your pictures or wherever you have your pictures and select the one that you want another thing uh, if you want to animate the sky dome make sure you have this check marked otherwise it's just gonna look like this let me show you it's just gonna look like that a still background image if I hit animate then it spins with the uh, with the sphere and I'm running out of time so I'm gonna put a sec put a second part for this uh, tutorial on YouTube so stay tuned for the next part